Welcome, friends, to another Scrap Mechanic Solo Survival series. I had a kind of a revelation this time today. Um, I think I'm going to have to probably build another base just to house our vehicles and to reduce the lag around here. Uh, once again, the ongoing fight of trying to fight with my computer to make things work a little bit smoother. It's actually not that bad right now, surprisingly, but every time I seem to play a little bit longer for a period of time, uh, the worst is some kind get a little bit. So what we're going to probably do is just build, um, a garage and I'm thinking probably the desert area where uh, at least one of the oil patches are and uh, that will help out a little bit with the lag plus I kind of want to make like a different structure other than just concentrating on this one I do intend on uh, making sure that this one gets finished and as well as the one over there, as it's going to be a long time before uh, Axolotl um, will come out with chapter two. <laughs> the all uh, long anticipated, grueling wait for chapter two that we all have been talking about constantly for way too long. So, now, I still think I'm going to leave this as uh, my farming base. And <clears throat> as well as uh, a building base as well. So I am going to build all my vehicles and put all my resources here. My finished vehicles and everything, I think I'm going to leave at the garage as well as I'm thinking of building a cabin. So if you ever notice how, and I'll, I'll have to find a certain hole of uh, oil I'm going to have to find with a certain structure on top. And that's, if I can find one that's like, uh, perfect for what I want to do, and which means we're going to have to do a little bit of traveling. And I'm going to have to build a... of those and we're gonna have to build a new beacon I might actually have another beacon on hand but I think that we'll, we'll just build a new one screw it I have to excuse me I'm kind of eating a little bit of lunch I don't expect too many uh, viewers today. <laughs> so I might as well have my lunch and just kind of like do a little driving around and enjoy the scenery. And we will unload some of our um, goodies here. Those on hand. They should start using uh, some of these up. Once I have like a full thing of um, seeds in here, it's I'm not going to keep anymore. There's no purpose unless 
make, make a mistake and throw those out and be like, oh, they're going to make something with that. That's too bad. I think I don't really uh, care too much for that. And the best thing is, is if, if I built in a desert, you know, like, um, robots really don't spawn out there. They'll spawn in these areas. I really do hope that they have, like, a certain kind of bot that only lives out in the desert, which would be kind of cool. But I'm not going to count on it. I didn't even check down here to see if there's any tote bots, but I guess not. Let's... Continue to get rid of stuff. And uh, this is more of a revolution um, inspired by... Oh, what's his name? I have to go look it up now. <laughs> Another streamer that I subscribe to, and this is, he has subscribed to me as well. Follower, or whatever you like to call him. I think he's on right now as well. Let's see. <clears throat> Always like to give my shout outs to uh, the right person. Oh, what's his name? I was just watching him this morning. Blood Othen. Where he has like multiple bases all over the place, and I really like the base that he did this. Uh, he cranked out overnight. <laughs> um, yeah, he. That guy is just a workhorse right now. <laughs> so. Yeah, he does pretty cool builds. He's probably better at the. Uh, logic and everything that I am and his builds are pretty pretty spectacular as well so if you want to check him out by all means please because anyway um so um hmm I was uh, building the beacon Kind of weird that I have to build a radio first and a beacon. It's not cheap to build one of these beacons as well. Yeah, I do think we'll keep all the resources and crap bots here we'll probably bring out a probably two crap build two crap bots separately for the garage just in case i want to like build something over there or have another place i can grab resources somewhere to pull that but i will make this kind of my main base for everything else we're going to keep the farm here we're going to keep this up here, we're still going to keep building on it. I think this is kind of like the mega build. Where the other build, I'm thinking, is uh, not going to be a mega build. It's more of a, I'm just going to have a place where I can put uh, put my vehicles. Because I do believe that these vehicles are kind of uh, contributing to the lag problem once again. And I think I will attach this thing back onto there eventually. Just not right now. Thirsty! I feel like we don't need to put any more uh, vehicles. This will definitely still be like my main go-to vehicle, my back and forth vehicle. It needs a little bit of repair and a paint job. I, I'm not really in 100% uh, 
like in this top right now. The back is great. I think that's. I don't think I'm gonna change a single thing, but definitely this front will work. And for a vehicle I use constantly, sure is uh, incomplete <laughs> for the most part of it. So we're gonna go find a place to go stay. It might not be so hard to find a place. I do think that, like, there is a desert just ripped behind this where um, this warehouse, and there's also one on that hill up there too. I'm just trying to find ways how to increase performance. It's just the performance this game has lately just been killing me you can't just have like one base apparently you have to have like multiple bases get out of the way cow I used to be able to run over those cows and they just wouldn't even like stop my vehicle and lately I've just been noticing all my cat <laughs> every time I hit a cow now it just like stops my car hmm no weird nope <laughs> no more soil we don't need more soil and now performance hit again I think it's just because of the amount of bearings I have on this vehicle does not like it. Okay, so let's go check out this desert. Let's see if we can find... See, I want that structure right there. Now, is there a... Yes, there is. Hmm. That did not take very long. So I do want this structure here. So I want the well right here because I'm just going to create a um, place where I can just constantly create gas. Hey, what is going on here? What is this thing rendering <laughs> or trying to like figure out? Okay, yeah, that stopped. Because I'm farther away from my vehicle. So we're going to create a, um, definitely we're going to create a garage here and we're going to make a, a garage just right over this thing right here. And it's just going to be a big garage. And then right up here, I'm going to uh, build a cottage, like a log cabin type thing or just a house here. Now, the one thing I'm going to have to take into consideration when I'm building this, like, it's not going to be a big house in any way, shape, or form. We can knock this tree out, which is, like, whatever. Not a big deal. However, the stupid bush right here, this is going to, like, clip through my house, so I'm going to build kind of an L shape around this bush. So it'll be like kind of like the feature of the house. And every single one of these places has got this stupid bush. And I really wish we could just knock out the bushes. I hate those bushes. And I really like the spot because you can see this giant warehouse up there. One day I'm gonna raid that one. 
and you get a nice view of the ocean. You got a, and it's not too far away from the main base over there. So we're gonna like kind of like change it up. So right here, we're gonna create a cabin of some sort and uh, the garage in the basement. Because I feel like I need a place to park all my vehicles now. So that's where our goal is going to be. And that was a lot quicker than I was thinking. I did remember this, uh, this thing being here. Call this home. Home number, number two. The other thing I really like about this is that it's really close to this road. So we could probably build a road that kind of like goes this way and then there and attaches with that road. And no robots spawn over here. Like you might get some tote bots over here. Maybe the occasional uh, a bot that comes around, but overall this is a pretty safe area. So I don't have to create any defenses. I always thought about building a farm up here, but uh, here's a problem with building a farm up here. It's like you have to find a way to transport water. And the closest water source is either right there. I don't think there was anything up here. I did think about building a base up here. I abandoned that idea pretty fast because it just... The challenge would definitely be there, but just hauling all that water would just be uh, too much work. And it would be create uh, probably the ultimate base defense, because there's no friggin' way that any bot was going to be able to make it up here. Like, the worst thing that could possibly happen would be that you would have a red bot that would come around here and possibly shoot upwards. But overall, you would not have any problems with uh, defending this base whatsoever. But we're not using that as a base. We're just using this as a future garage area. So we're going to have to bring a lot of resources here. I might have to hack some wood up. And transporting the vehicles might be a pain too. Because... Um, basically I would have to dump all the vehicles here and then physically run back and then get my vehicle, drive it all the way here, physically run back. <laughs> but that's the other reason why I wanted to pick this location. Actually not that far from my base. It might be a little bit of a, a run, but who cares? Actually, we'll call this a, we'll give it the. This is going to be a garage. <laughs> That's going to be a garage. It's going to be a garage. And I think first thing we'll do is bring over um, the lumber mill, the lumber machine, maybe. I'm going to be building this mostly out of wood. Yeah, also is really going to be good for this. I can get, uh, there's more nodes of like rock formations over here. So that's kind of good. Okay. And I'll just, I'll just be mostly just to reduce the lag, I guess. That's all it's going to do, but this is still going to be like my back and forth vehicle. So let's bring over all the vehicles. over and think about uh, what resources. We're going to have to get some, uh, probably some, well, I could bring over the wood that I got now because I'm mostly going to build this thing out of wood and concrete, um, probably mostly wood. 
just because it's going to be a house kind of style. Yeah, I see you, dude. You're last. <laughs> And I really do think this is probably going to reduce the amount of lag that we got going on here. Because there's just so many structures, so many... Uh, so this might be a little bit of uh, a tedious thing, is moving all these vehicles around. And it's not like I'm going to have to bring a refining uh, bot with me or anything, because like basically my vehicles already have the refiners built into them. They're crashing because it's just getting delayed, I think, which is only going to make doing this that much better. <laughs> Okay, so that's the rock. One. Here. See, look at that FPS drop on that thing. Ridiculous. This is kind of like the smoothest uh, driving one I have, too. <laughs> it's using battery. It also has, like, the most amount of, like, moving. See, that's the other thing, the best thing about the, um, the, uh, putting the garage out here. Like, it, I know I'm not going to have to put any base defenses up. Which also helps create a log lag. Like I still want to put more base defenses up here. Holy jeez, man! What's going on here? It does not like me today. Yeah, and this vehicle isn't really built for long distances either. <laughs> this is a short vehicle. I just wanted something that turned like on a dime. Is trying to like grind up wood. Kind of a pain. Uh, if you can't. Same with like almost grinding rock, but. Choosing the right rock formation kind of helps too. Animal abuse. Waiting for that mod where it's just like, no, stop it. You're hurting me. I don't like the screaming pain of like, of those uh, cows are any better. You ever see a cow gets get killed for the meat? I have. I've been to the slaughterhouse. Holy crap. <laughs> Thing does not like hills. Oh, 
Wow, this thing really does not like hills. <laughs> Let's find an alternate way up. I know it levels off over here a little bit. Not like my regular vehicle. While we're at it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'll use the uh, cheapo wood for this either. All right, the worst part of it, <laughs> getting back. This place is a lot easier to move. You got another person with you. Look at all these. Whoa, there's a big red dude up there. I don't think I've ever seen one spawn right there before. Hey, quite a, quit abusing that cow over there. <laughs> That's funny. I have beat him like a red-headed stepchild. Yeah, beat, beat you like a mother that actually doesn't care about you. Yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> that's, in, that's when you know that you hate. That you hate your... <laughs> that you're hated. You're, nobody likes you. <laughs> when your mother doesn't even like you. <laughs> what am I playing? I'm playing Scrap Mechanic. Which means I'm building stuff. Hey! Piss off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this is a good old scrap mechanic. I couldn't build a burrito. <laughs> I can definitely put away a burrito. <laughs> I can eat a burrito. That's that's the extent of my ability. I'm not fat, I'm jolly. Yeah, dead. See you later. <laughs> you don't need hot sauce in a burrito. If you're fat, you don't care what it tastes like. You can have the crappiest burrito on this planet. <laughs> if you're a fat guy, you don't care about the taste. You just want to put it down your gullet. All right, let's get the other one out of here. Let's see if this will reduce the lag. What the hell? I don't know why I didn't just build like a secondary base to begin with.
What is this jank down here? Ah. I didn't ask you to turn that way. Wow. I love that broken game spinger. <laughs> what system am I on? I'm not on a system. I'm on my computer. They haven't put this on a computer on a on a system yet. I have a feeling this is my niece I'm talking to. <laughs> She's come to harass me. <laughs> nope, not at all. <laughs> Which dork am I talking to then? <laughs> I'll take the tomato. Hey, no. <laughs> Ooh, you call it a potzer. <laughs> this is a Kevin Smith reference. Actually, I think that was actually from Billy Elliot originally, and then Kevin Smith Kevin Smith made it his own. <laughs> All right, that's number two over. What about Kevin Spacey? Too busy making crappy Italian films now because you can't make it in Hollywood anymore. Do I have? Uh, yep, I don't have enough to even fight that red dude. I'm gonna avoid you like the plague. Because you are going to kill me. At last. <laughs> The only way to get down a hill. <laughs> I'm fine. Great, right, no damage. <laughs> That's how I roll down the hill. They can't run down a hill, I'm too fat. Hi, sir. I'm gonna bring some extra ammo so I can blast that guy in the face. I'm gonna shoot my load in his face. And he's not gonna have a good time. And he has to talk to his friends afterwards about it. <laughs> yeah, I just don't have enough ammo to blast him away. How do I know how that is? I have no idea. <laughs> In the face! Oh yeah, I, I must be talking to Kurt then. Me, 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 me. I just looked at the name of the stupid thing on there. <laughs> like, oh wait a minute, I know who that is. Now I know who I'm talking to. I haven't talked to you in like ages. It's been a very, very long time, my friend. <laughs> no, it's a, it your stupid name handle on there that gave it away. <laughs> I'm just like, oh yeah, we only we know those stupid uh, 
G.I. Joe dubs. <laughs> G.I. Joe. And enough of that crap. Yeah, instead of drawing, this is what I do now. No, I don't think all the lag. What happened? What would happen if I do this? Hmm. Must be something else that's bogging it down. I can't remember if I put the uh, pork chop cham uh, sandwiches on my <laughs> on the uh, on the Facebook. I might have because I don't think you're on my Twitter. So where you been? What you been doing? Just gonna let you know, I don't really swear on this one. <laughs> I keep telling people how much of a big uh, person I'm into swearing and everything like that, but I don't do that do that on my stream. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind innuendos, but uh, I try to avoid. Like this is kind of like a a kid friendly game, and I try to keep it as kid friendly as possible. So please bear with me. <laughs> I don't mind talking about other things, but I just will try, try to keep it at least PG, man. <laughs> it's good to see from you, hear from you. Out of all the places that we could probably be talking on, right? On a uh, platform. Yeah, I kind of stopped playing consoles now, so I'm all about the computer. The game you've been playing lately. Hey kid, I'm a computer. <laughs> uh, that's such an old reference. I love it. You know, like, you know when we're getting old is when we have uh, the memes that are getting old for us. <laughs> Let's go. All right, how much spud ammo do I uh, I got enough to blast that guy in the face. Yeah, see, I'm, I have that game for, um, for Epic, like Borderlands 3. I didn't like it as much as Borderlands 2. But it has its charms. It's not as funny as... I think it's always like kind of like the DLC always like seems to s they always seem to save it. Yeah, once I beat that game uh, Borderlands three, I just kind of like moved on. And uh, lately, I just like I said, I've been playing this game mostly on and off. And probably about two months ago, I started to stream it because I felt like I was confident enough to stream this game. Ooh. Piece of meat. Give it that. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? See, this is why I just stop buying consoles. It's just like every time I want to go play a game, and with the amount of remasters and everything like that, I'm just kind of lost my um, my taste for for consoles, and then. The backwards compatibility and stuff like that was the other thing. So, my bread and butter is now strictly PC. And plus, I built this like computer myself, so I feel. Get wrecked! Thank you, come again. That guy did not even charge at me one bit. That was kind of weird. Alright.
right. Yeah, I didn't, uh, yeah. After PlayStation 3, I just stopped buying consoles. PlayStation 3 was the last console I bought. I still might consider getting myself a Switch, though. But, uh, even still, I'm kind of, like, hesitant on that. All right, so... Concrete three. We're gonna need. I just basically drove out here for nothing. Yeah, I'll call you sometime, man. I'll probably message in you. I'm still working on trying to get kids. <laughs> so one day. Yeah, I'm still at Oak Ridge. <clears throat> Very, I, I have weird days off. This is like probably the one weekend I have off for like until the next three. Get some Narnar off this thing. Yeah! Yeah, I still have my own. I think you still have my number. Anyway, then I'll see ya. I'll see you when I see ya. <laughs> yeah, trying to trying to find. <laughs> yeah, if I'm, I'm gonna be start working less nights, which is a nice thing. I think the latest I'll be able to uh, I'm gonna be working is like maybe six, and I might have to work the occasional till eight o'clock. But generally. I don't make any plans for what on the days that I'm working. My weird days off are like sometimes Wednesdays, sometimes Thursdays. They've been a lot easier since I got a new new boss, so she's a lot easier to deal with than my previous boss who was a dick. <laughs> Peace. Have a good one. All right, what do we got? We need... Got the concrete. I'm gonna need... That, don't need this, don't need this. Let's see, let's see. The guy looks cross-eyed. Yeah, the guy looks perfectly pissed off. <laughs> ah, let's see. Okay, let's get rid of this. Really got to do some inventory management here. I hear you. I'm going to kill you. Oh, he's in the basement, isn't he? Ah, he's breaking my stuff. Hey, no. Piss off. <laughs> you down there. Good. Yeah, they have the tendency to have a tote bot usually that spawns down there. And that's kind of making it annoying. Let's see. Nope. So let's go down here. Get some more burgers. I am still having a problem with lag in here. It could be also this monstrosity too. The possibility. 
it is the biggest structure I made, uh, vehicle at least. Right. At least it's stable. Whoa. Computer did not like that one. Okay, do I? Yeah, I have my well tool on me. Okay, so we'll just move this thing up a little bit. There, maybe this thing might fit. I know I'll have to walk back like a chump. No, we're gonna have to walk. We're just gonna have to walk. Yep, I would say probably a good chunk of my leg is a stupid thing. Yeah, for some reason, Scrap Mechanic does not like, um, big structures, big, big vehicles. Hey. What? How am I out of fuel? Nope, you're not gonna break that. This took me hours. Probably a good chance I did not fill up one of my engines or hook up one of my engines. Where's my connect tool? Ah, okay. I have, this is why I have no fuel. Okay. All right, now we got tons of fuel. All right, this this hay bot's gonna get the haymaker. Bye, Felicia. Definitely this thing moves a lot better than the last one. That last uh, giant vehicle I made sucked. It was so bad. It was really bad at like just steering and everything. And it was laggy. Not to say that this isn't laggy, but not as bad as that last one. So bad. <laughs> the drink I go. I bet you any money that probably eliminated a lot of the stupid lag that was going on over there. So I'm getting some good frames per second here. So that's not too bad.
that back. Actually, now here's a question you want I want to ask myself. If I want to actually start building the garage here now, or should I just continue working on there? No, I think I'll start on the garage. Hmm, I think that has to be lower. Things I think about keep me up at night. And it's definitely not always this game. Nope. Now that's too low. Maybe just a little bit higher. It should probably actually start this way and then work forward. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go and make more concrete, that's for sure, which is like, I got way too much stone to begin with. And that will eliminate a lot of crap. Don't like that, but whatever. Don't like that at all. Now I'm thinking I have to make this higher. So, one more. Sometimes I could just wish I could just level the ground. Okay, so we start that big lump right about here. That's where our start is going to be. Definitely have to Yeah, I'm not going to build a gas station <laughs> as being like kind of like the trendy thing they're kind of doing before uh, not this is just going to be a straight up garage. If I was playing on multiplayer server, maybe. Oh, it's trying to get too high there. There we go. Perfect. And then... Yeah, we'll have it this way. It's not like I'm not going to use this for to make gas, but I'm definitely not going to make a gas station. <laughs> I like to still think I have some original ideas. <laughs> uh, but this is all straight up just be a uh, garage. Okay, cool. That looks good. About that height. We'll keep building it out this way. Maybe use some ramps. And I'm probably going to need some more Definitely going to need more concrete. Should check this, these if I have concrete available. Yeah, I think I robbed it all already. Hey cow, get brained. <laughs> not actually how they do it in a slaughterhouse. There's not one person in a slaughterhouse with a sledgehammer braining cows as much as like the animal cruelty people like to think how it works.
definitely a quicker quicker death than that. <laughs> like you ever see uh, No Country for Old Men, where the uh, sugar has that um, thing that he sticks to people's head. That's exactly what it is. It's just one of those. And it even in that movie, it's like it's instant when he uses it. And it's exactly like that for cows. Like, it's just instant. You have to be a certain type of... I personally never ever killed a cow. But... It definitely takes a certain kind of person to be okay to do that. Like, I don't think I'd feel comfortable doing it, but, like, you have to have a mindset that, um, you don't look at uh, the animal as a living creature, I would imagine. More like... It's just food, right? Um, definitely, a, I when I went fishing, I had to sell fish for food. That's and I don't feel exactly a hundred percent good always about it, but if I want to eat it, I <laughs> I will do that. I should bring my other vehicle up. I don't think that's actually reduced any of my lag problems. Maybe the next time I log on. I really think it's just um collision, which is a problem. I really should. Actually, I really do want to finish this. Actually, it is kind of done already, so. I think if I just create a shell for it. And I think people would really like to see a raid. I don't think I need these dummy switches anymore. Definitely will do a raid for it. Absolutely. Let's close this out. Oop, 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 I'm going to die. Oop, I might not die. If I die, who cares? <laughs> Not like I was super far away anyway. And all my stuff's probably in the basement. That actually worked really well. <laughs> Which is good. That's why I wanted to happen. I knew that was going to kill me eventually. Well, that was the whole point of having an automatic trap. So if, like, someone came over. Or someone or something came over. You would. It would be death. For sure. What? Why did I grab that? Oh, yeah. So it's all backwards now. That actually might rub up on the bottom. No bueno. Okay. Oops. Now I'm going to have to reconnect all that. 
Dang it. <laughs> Gotta put that somewhere else. Guess it really doesn't matter where it is. That, this, 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 oh yes, okay, yeah, cause this isn't connected to this machine anymore. I bungled that up. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. I think I can fix this. Drop it. Drop it and weld it. Play a weld in the right spot. Okay. Hey, you leave Justin Beeper alone. Unless you want to go on a date with him. <laughs> Pardon me, robot. Let's go and fix my stupid mistakes. Nope. That's to come out. Add up. Out. See here and there. Add it there. All right, that should have fixed all this. Fix that. Should have fixed all that. Down just a bit. Up. Here and there. Okay. Let's hook all that up. Make sure. Huh? Hello. Fifteen. The fifteen. Uh, I'm gonna have to like do everything. I am gonna be ticked off. Just undo this. I only want it to be attached to one of these. Not be attached to the whole structure. Okay. Oh yeah, because it's not attached to these. Hmm. Now, are these... Yeah, that should be an or gate. Okay. The other thing. There we go. There we go. Okay. 
You just never know. You ever have to build a kill machine that was like almost too effective? And that's flush. So then I could just build platform over these. Okay, and the other thing before I forget, sorry, I'm missing sensor. Two sensors. I had two sensors in the bin. Hmm. That's why I guess I had those two on me. Where do you at? Give me the sensors back, please. Sensor away. What the? Merci beaucoup. Give me that. Give me. Okay, that one there. I think I uh, decided that this was going to be a four, I think. Is that four? Yeah, because this is like the lowest level I can come up with. We should probably test this too. So I'll finish off the uh, finish this off and then we should have a raid. I don't know what we're low on. I think we should probably make some Ammunition. That is definitely a must. Pretty important to have that ammo. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can upgrade these any any farther either, because it would just be like basically a tick. Yeah, and I really should test it because I don't know it, whether or not the um, help bots are actually going to get... ...recognized by that either. That was like one of the th my concerns was when I was building this that the uh, killbots might not even recognize this. All right, I'm not gonna do the same mistake last time. I'm gonna have to make the same mistake as last time. So, yeah, just to put the backing on here, have to do it that way. I have a choice. Where is lift tool? There we go.
start from. Alright, just switch and just extend this out. There's only two, isn't it? Okay. Right, right, right. So this is actually not necessary. So we will build up this. Build off this one. Yeah, I think we need to have that full extended anyway. Full range. Half speed, half speed, okay. Down. Where is our burgers? I was stupid enough to die on my own trap. Like a ding down. This is my moving mechanism. That has to be removed. Let's see here. So, let's, where is my well tool? Well, this thing, right about. Okay, so the question. Maybe it could be on the end. Here, maybe? Okay, so that's too much. So we have to knock off one little chunk there. This here. Or about yeah, like that. Okay. Here. Here. Stuff. Okay. 
<laughs> I don't know why I, I keep on testing. I have this dummy bot here that I can use to like punch him in there. <laughs> All right, fine. Don't go in there, jerk. Stubborn old robot. Beautiful. This be extended. That is extended all the way, and I'm short. That sucks. All right, so move that, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, that's probably why I had that second part out. Here, 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 there, there, see if that works. Nope. Sticking out more than it used to be, but whatever. Probably still work. Uh, after all that stuff. Attach this. You know, having these maxed out, I should know it. it does matter if it maxes out. I think it doesn't, but it does. If those two patch each other. Let's see if it goes. And it really likes doing that for some reason. This dummy thing is not very dummy proof. Too bad. <laughs> if I was going to do that again. Here we go. Try it. Do it. This one. I'm out. Well. Hmm. Why no extend? Okay. Let's see what the problem is. I have a feeling that this is attached to something. It's not supposed to be attached to. Send it all the way. No? Still no.
just put block here. Now, now it fully extends. And this I'm feeling is too too far. Try that again. I think that actually might be the right height for that. Four, maybe? Five. It's a magic number. Alright, that should take care of that. Yeah, this guy is just, I don't know. Something about this. I might have to make adjustments to our dummy because. Or it might be too low. Because I feel like this is almost like the right height for a tote bot. This is why I created this dummy to begin with. But I thought like the top part of this would be okay. Now I'm not 100% sure. This might be a possibility. Seems a lot higher than the other one. Hope he is. <laughs> yeah, which means this is too high. So let's go and build. No, I don't. Okay. So let's just close this up and figure out whether this machine works or not. Right. Yeah, I don't think I'm really too concerned about uh, how much weight there is in the back of this. This, this is not a crushing mechanism. This is just a pushing mechanism. Okay, anyway, let's talk. Let's... Uh, Go do some farming. We'll do potatoes. We'll get a caboodle of potatoes. I might just build a uh, a, um, a seed a seeding and planting system. I'm really tired of doing this manually. <laughs> 
definitely I, it would be very easy to for me to build a uh, collection system it's just going to be vacuums picking stuff up and the planter wouldn't be too hard either to do either because all I'd have to do is just have this same system except underneath it. I also thought about putting uh, just the vacuums right here. The hardest part is like trying to connect the vacuums and the chests up. And I kind of don't want to have to tear all this apart to make it work. That's the problem. Hence why I haven't made the uh, automatic farm either. Because it is a pain in the ass to make an automatic farm. It's just, just don't think it's going to be worth it for now. When you're all by yourself, you're not making ammo for like your buddies or anything. Yeah, I think I'll just build something really uh, simplistic for just collection. I'm getting tired of manually picking these up. <laughs> okay, let's see. More bag of seeds. Make a seat. Fact, how many more minutes? We got three minutes. I kind of planned it that late. It's okay. Because I wanted to see what this raid is going to do. Because I know the majority of my raid is going to be over here. And I have a feeling either. They're going to attack either this or they're going to come over and attack that. And hopefully I'm hoping that they're going to come and attack this. And I really want to see what it's going to do. Whether I have to bring down those sensors or not. Which is the most concerning thing. Is whether or not those sensors are low enough to detect a tote bot. I know it could probably detect a hay bot, no problem, but a tote bot, maybe not so much. I did create the dummy, but that dummy is not is not perfect either. So we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, second thing, only got like twenty eight spuds. Take a few more spuds and the front door open. Yeah, the front door is open. Shut the front door. Crack this open. Be ready for our defenses. Let's see. Shotgun, please. Thank you. I'll we'll do a little uh, organization here while we're waiting. You know, I had a. Um, sometimes when you play a game for so long, you have dreams about it. I had one last night of this. <laughs> Which kind of makes me think I should probably take a break from this. But. Um, if I really wanted to make this. Um, have this farm and not have to worry about whether I'm, uh, yeah, thanks, man. 
um, worry about whether or not it was going to be defended on all sides. I should have built actually the walls right about here, right? And then just have this natural slope that goes down here, right? I built a whole far um, base like this, right? And have like that same amount of gap right here. <laughs> All the way around, and then just stick um, <laughs> drills on the bottom of it all the way around. Would have probably worked better. <laughs> I would have had to build like no pushing traps or anything, um, or nothing for it. Would have actually at that point just have have one button turn all 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 the drills right and literally this whole base would have just defended itself but I also thinking about it I could probably still do that but I just wanted to see what kind of challenge I could do like I just want to get better at doing the uh, logic and stuff like that so uh, there's that as well all right not too worried about that. Let's see what they do over here. All right, get some hay bots over here. Okay. Are you gonna? Are you gonna hit? Nope. He sees it. Oh, he even like got disintegrated by. Okay, get him! Get him! Is this not extended all the way? Extend that all the way. That's what I want. That's gonna have to work. Bye, head. Hmm. So I figured. Hmm. Okay, things have been delayed on that one a little bit. So they did detect it, right? He did see them. Now, it didn't extend as far as I wanted it to, so I'm wondering why. Yeah, I feel like I'm short. I may have lost when I was farting around trying to get this uh, thing again working. I think I'm, yeah, it looks like I lost. And I was wondering why I had this in my inventory. Okay. So, that's an easy fix. <laughs> that won't be a problem. Goes here. Um, that goes here, there, 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 and here, here. Extend this. Oops. My well tool. Hot bar. Perfect. That. Figure it out. Right there. Whoop. And we got to make sure that it's all hooked up properly. That is probably the most challenging part of it. Is okay, what is going on here? Hmm. I think I created another problem. Sucks. Okay. Uh, 
attached, it's not attached. Okay. We'll just this at Oop. that that flush. Lower. Okay. So yes, there. And I'm gonna have to adjust that uh, one piston. Yeah, I definitely did these uh, troughs a silly way, but eh. I think there was a better way of actually figuring out these. The next thing, down for a second. Oh, there, let's go above there. Or I think that's actually should be a maximum. What's that maximum? What's this then? This one's not even extended at all. Not attached to anything either. All right, so one of these can be shortened. I think that's going to be about seven. Last I remember. Nine. I think an eight. All right. Yeah, I think that'll work next time. And hopefully, I'll get uh, shoved down in here because I have like a little sensor. And actually, once a bot goes in there, all these will turn and destroy them all. And then I got a collection for. Bot arms and these section things should pick up all the circuits and possible component kits. I end up on. Then I have to figure out this side and then the other side. But the majority of my uh, battles are going to be on this side. I do have traps over on that side as well. So wondering. The same kind of idea, except I don't have pushers on uh, the top portion on here. It's just right here. I have it opens up as soon as like these are all maxed out. So that open go right here, and there's some sensors that end up and they get detected here, and then these push them into there. <laughs> so it's kind of like the same as that one. I am gonna change this one. Uh, to be the same as these ones. Uh, depending on how efficient they go. You do have to use a lot of sensors, but at this point, I'm not picky on how many sensors I'm using. So. Plus, I think I'll be better for collection as well. Oops. <laughs> and I got it just about the right height where the bots won't like hop over this either. And this one is just for 
for whenever I uh, have a, a red dude to fight. And this thing will probably kill it in like four seconds. <laughs> That'll be very fast. Let's just put it that way. Oh yeah, no, I am going to have to use some automatic guns and I'm only going to use those on the corners. Right? So... Uh, the, in the future, I'll be about right about this height and right here. So it's going to go to there, to there, right? And so I built the um, uh, this trap to about there because I'll be like the most amount of reach it'll go. And then I'll protect to there, there, and then I'll have to come up either probably with a sentry gun right here shooting this way and that way and the same with this one so this way to that way that'll be a full 180 degrees or whatever so and it's not like I have to farm for those guns either because I got a lot of like I did it before like I actually did already have that's why I have all these potato uh, things and I definitely have one two three four five six seven seven of those right now and I think I'm gonna make them like a three shot so basically if it was a uh, I'll probably have to get more but there's the three shots are gonna fire all at once Right, and then if it was a Haybot, it will be instantly destroyed in one shot. So they don't get too close, so I don't have to have it constantly right here and doing that, you know, that jerking motion where it's like doing this. <laughs> so it'll just be like, yeah, one shot, bam, gone. So that's, that's kind of my plan. So... Future, future me. <laughs> yep. That downstairs. And definitely we're going to have to come up with a better collection system too. Yeah, I like the automatic guns, but it's like... I guess, like I said, if I wanted to make it super efficient, I wouldn't, I would have just had a full drop around it. And would have just made this, in hindsight, I would have made, just made this my automatic farm all the way through. Why is this open? I think I might have fell, fallen in there at one point. This. Oh yeah, now I remember. So the other reason why I wanted to switch it to that trap as well. So I think the biggest problem with this design for a trap is if you get tote bots in here and you get disintegrated, sometimes they leave one of those heads in there and it just falls in there and it just gums up the whole system. And the reason, uh, the way of like trying to avoid that is I created, like when that opens up and then this one gets detected, basically another carpet comes in so that it doesn't get jammed up in the back. And it only gets jammed up in there. So, and I feel like this is, the amount of work I put into it was, did not benefit it in any way and this is definitely going to be more efficient right so I feel like it's going because it's all going to be round up in one little spot right where this one I might not have the opportunity to but I definitely can get better coverage from here to here I can reuse these 
and here to here. So it's it's going to be a far easier to build than this one, right? So you kind of have to like kind of really think about what where your resources are going to go to. And I had another one where I was using uh, controllers to do like kind of like a drop trap or whatever. So I end up having all these controllers I <laughs> have absolutely no use for because they don't move as very fast. They just even on the maximum setting, it's like jump, right? Where I kind of wanted an action where it's just like instant flip down, like the equivalency of like it free falling, but can't do that. With a controller. Controllers are nice for some things, but not nice for others. And I think I'm going to build a deck up here, too. Definitely built this a little bit more compact. Well, this one's got a greater span on there, so. A lot to think about that. And uh, thank you for the follow. Breaking the unlucky 13. <laughs> Been at 13 for like at least four days. Not happy with it. I don't like it. I'm not a superstitious person, but. Not a number I, I particularly like. <laughs> I was just like, ah, oh, when am I going to get to 14? <laughs> but thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. So, hmm. I wonder why that not bonding this. This might have to be redesigned. Maybe just because I have too many of those in there. Oh. Gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think about that because I'm really. Uh, how much do? How many vehicles do I have? Um. I'm. I actually just when I started <laughs> doing the stream today, I actually just moved all my vehicles because um, I've been having a really bad um, amount of lag in here, and I think it was just because all my vehicles were here. So I have this one as my main vehicle, my back and forth. And right over there, I have a driller. Uh, basically, three more vehicles. So a driller and a tree one. And as well as just a... Uh, uh, one I can send vegetables to the farmer. So a big, large vehicle over there. We got enough time. We can like totally like hop over there. We got like 10 minutes. It's not that far of a drive. And I was going to go and build like kind of a gas... Uh, basically my new um, garage over there. Not for like building, but just to store vehicles. And you're going to see like a great improvement of FPS right about... Now. <laughs> so it gives you a good idea how much lag that uh, that base actually creates. The ongoing optimizations for scrap mechanic. Yeah, I really like the location where I'm at, but there is an, uh, one negative to it. 
is that you're far away from the farmer. Yeah, so I have all my other vehicles here. So This one's still a work in progress. And also a uh, lag maker. Fact. <laughs> And it's just because of the amount of bearings there are on, on it. Bam. <laughs> there. Yeah, and it's just this machine because it's got all these uh, jocks on it and a lot of bearings. Just, and this is just the steering for it all. Because this is like the most stable steering I have. So. Yeah, just. Yeah, it's the. It's always the bearings that create the most amount of lag. So the least amount of bearings that you can create in your world. You will re greatly reduce the lag. That's why I moved all those here. Because like. Every time I was working in uh, the farm base over here, it just slowed everything to a crawl. And I'm just like, okay, we gotta do something about that. So I removed a lot of stuff that had bearings in it that were not being used or being active. And then I moved all the vehicles over there and I was just like, well, I might as well just build another building there. Cause like not all the time you're gonna need all those. Yeah, it's the things that create the most amount of lag in your game are always gonna be bearings and um, collision. So when you build a structure like this up here, anything that's like a vehicle or something and you create concrete and drive up on it like this, like I've created this bridge, right? And you can even notice like a big uh, problem with uh, FPS already. Sorry. I'm getting distracted by these bots here. Hey. So you create a pad, a pad of concrete and you drive a vehicle on top of it. Um, that's collision as well. Or you have anything that rubs up against another part, that's collision. That's why it's still kind of really laggy over here. Even after moving all that stuff. Like eventually it'll just go away, but... I hear somebody over here. This always happens. I always have a to uh, at least one or two tote bots that come down here. That's why I still have the fence. It's not a perfect system. <laughs> but they always seem to attack the weakest thing, and it's always fences that they attack. They usually have one tote bot that spawns there and occasionally I'll have a tote bot that spawns right here. So yeah, like I said, not perfect. And this is kind of more of a challenge build too. Since I'm by myself, I don't play with anybody else. Um yeah it's more of a challenge build to see um what I'm capable of Defending. Right? And this area gets swarmed with like tote bots. Like it, this is just a small collection of all my tote bot heads. Right behind this giant structure right here, I have a huge amount of tote bot heads <laughs> that I just dump over there because I just I just don't know what to do with all of them. Kind of pointless. I'm not a musician, so I'll probably never use the uh, a 
I'll never, I'll never use those heads to make like a music sample or whatever. And the other problem is, is like, you know how some people that are just like, oh, I'm running out of like circuit boards and I need to go and farm more circuit boards. I have the opposite problem. I have too many circuit boards. I have too many of these. Like way, 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 way too many. And I have way too many potato seeds. And I basically have too many um, soil because I'm at that point where I just like, there's no point building another farm or making my farm bigger because I'm just one person. Like if I was sharing this with like, a <laughs> yeah, they are good for the, the horns for sure. Absolutely. But not, I don't, I, I, I kind of don't want to use that. I don't want to put those ugly heads on, on, especially when you have only like <laughs> four vehicles. Anyway, I could make the world's most obnoxious horn. That would be kind of funny. Just have all those things at once with one bro one button playing all at once. I would have imagined that would have created a lot of lag too. I'm also thinking of doing the uh, an auto har harvester in here too. I'm sick and tired of picking this up manually. I mean, that car. I've heard people make forts out of them and stuff. Here we go. <laughs> and he fell into one of my traps. Sometimes it just works so well. And other times it doesn't work at all. I think that was in there. I bet you go. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> it does work. It works really well sometimes, that trap. Even when I'm not paying attention, but I still have spots where they're subject to kill you. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not short on circuit boards. <laughs> Too many. I would like to get rid of them. Don't need them. Yeah, because that's like, like I said, it's the drawback of being around here. Because the tote bots constantly, constantly spawn over there. I could literally go over there and fight ten tote bots at once. Hello, and there's like somebody right here too. Another circuit board for protection. <laughs> Yeah, and I definitely have no shortage of keys either. Because <laughs> I always have a red guy that spawns there and the amount of guy, red guys I've beaten up just for fun. Which is not no, a pretty easy feat when you got a shotgun and a lot of a lot of ammo. At that point, we can just start dumping these. <laughs> Doing the world tour. <laughs> I was actually watching Blood Oath and his, uh, stream this morning. He's got one of my first subscriber uh, followers or whatever. And his base, he has a, 
base exactly like this one, like he built the farm in the same location. He's got turrets, but he's got like 16 different bases around. His is pretty nuts. You want to check his out. Like that guy lives and breathes scrap mechanic all day. He's on there more times than I am. That. Yeah, I have a good feeling on our next raid, it's probably not going to have to worry about this. This one. For a bit. And we'll get ready for it here. Hopefully more will spawn this way if I stand in this direction. Not need any more potatoes. Get lost. Okay. Yep. Good luck to you, sir. And I'll see you in, when I see you. You must be in a way farther away in the country than I am. <laughs> it's still like 2 o'clock where I am, so he's saying he's going to bed unless he's an early sleeper. <laughs> Do, 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 do. One minute, 36 seconds. How many potatoes I got? Too many. Probably make more burgers, I'm thinking. See what happens. Go down there. I'm really hoping this works because I really want to replicate this one and put it on the other side just so I can get more coverage. Then I can finally work on the corners. And then once I got all the sides built up, I actually will build a roof on this thing. This is kind of turning into a mega structure. And I think I would start building on the uh, on the garage on the side. Eight seconds. Countdown is on. That. You know, like, one minute goes on for, like, doesn't, doesn't take very long during the day, but just before a raid, I swear to God, these things run slower. <laughs> Like, it's, I don't know if it's me, because you're, like, waiting. You're just like, well, I can't do anything major now, so now I have to wait. See, and, like, even still, it's, like, 23 seconds away. Let's see. Grab some of those. I think I still have some more pink garments around. Yep. Purple, I mean. Get that chopping, al chopping along. You guys, come over this way. Ooh, there's quite a few. You 
you over there too. I just wanted to see what you do. That's all I want. Huh, wonder why that stopped. Why are you stop? Oh, never mind. Now you finally reset. Yeah, we'll just leave that alone. Yeah, that's right. We'll make the game engine work for this. <laughs> Alright, something's going on. Check the perimeter. I think that did the work on here. I think. There you are. Yeah, there's a big negative. So if I have another bot that comes in behind there. Oh yeah, what's this? <laughs> That's messed up. Alright. So I had a little hiccup right there. I don't think that's a big problem. I think that was fluky, to be honest. Very fluky. up all this garbage. It's the easy way. Collected like two, maybe two hay bots there. Maybe I only need to put one there. Possibility. Might ha not have to put two there. I think one might do it. Yeah, I think we'll just. Do that same trap because that worked pretty efficiently, I think. Kind of pleased how well that worked. That uh, worked really well, actually. So I think we'll make that same trap down there. You're touching. Maybe you go this way. One at this way. I 
Good. Okay. So let's see here. Here. Another garment. Let's see what I get. Stupid shirt. <laughs> Make another one. I got is our epic ones left. Okay. All right. So I think next time when I'm on, I'm going to do this. Definitely this trap. To match that one. It is probably one of the more um, ants. Um, one of the more efficient traps. Definitely. This is pretty good. However, did not like and this extended out and it got stuck there. There was another one that, but if it retracts, they're going to get crushed in here anyway. I just hope I don't get any like tote bot heads in there and, and make it all messed up. So that's the only where place I can see that it getting really buggered up is uh, we get tote bot heads in there, and there's not really much you can do about it. You just have to just deal with it. Shorts. All right. Hold on. Do I have even have? Got that one. These shorts. Well, those are like more like pants. There. Now I got that whole whole thing. I got that whole get up. <laughs> I think I might even have the uh, the gloves for that. I don't know if those, those are the gloves that go with it. I kind of like those gloves a little bit more. I don't really like that. You know, it kind of reminds me of like like a Vault Tech outfit, kind of. That very eighties. I actually don't mind the top of that, I just don't like the pants. Yeah, that's okay. That works. Mitch mash mix and match my clothes. Yeah, I don't see uh, any um change in lag here, that's for sure. And I can only imagine getting a, uh, a high tier fight here. How much lag that's going to be like. I'm pretty sure the next time I'm in a, in a fight with anyway, I'm probably going to be using the Gatling gun. Because I bet you any money I'm going to have to take out a few. Probably a um, couple tape bots there. And the tape bot over there, and then hop in this, and I got the Gatling gun, a rip guy. Most likely. I'm kind of glad I moved the vehicles out of here, so now it's like. I could probably do something else. I might even just get rid of these doors. 
and uh, just create a solid defense, get rid of this thing right here. Because honestly, there's no reason to go out this door unless I want to go and yeet myself off, uh, off some ramps over there. But generally, this is going to be my go-to in and out now. There's no reason to have a door here. There's no reason to have a ramp here, and there's no reason. I still like the rails. And I might extend this out more. Be about past there. Maybe. Or just start having this enclosed. Just things to think about. I'm definitely going to redo this. This portion right here and I definitely want to make it a e uh, good easy in and out to the basement definitely right here is still gonna be like kind of a working area for sure and this one will be like when I need to build like a new large truck or something I don't know I do have plans for this stuff up here though I almost have all the materials I want to do with it. I'm thinking I'm going to probably have to get more of these. So I'm planning to go take these ones sideways and all the way across. All the way across that way, all the way across that way. And then... Uh, if, when I get, get done... Have this enclosed and then build a deck up to the top portion right here. Right, so I can defend my base from the top. As well as over here once I have that same mechanism. I really wish that it's, this would, whatever is doing that is would stop. I have a feeling it's one of these ones. Could be this one. Definitely, I think the, uh, hmm, got one tope out there. Yeah, we'll definitely build the, um, that trap on that side. It's going to work so much better. I'm going to keep the door there. I'm going to keep the Gatling gun there. I know this is going to be the main spot I'm going to have to defend. Just me thinking out loud. Just to show you kind of my thought process. I'm going to have to probably get some level 3 um, concrete to cover this entire thing up. Same as I did with this one that you can't see now. And it's kind of also another goal is to make sure all these pipes and everything you cannot see from the outside. Like this looks kind of silly <laughs> up here. I'm just going to have like kind of like a pillar. Because I'd rather look at a bunch of concrete than... Look at a bunch of, uh, speaking of concrete, I think they're making some. In order to make that happen, we're going to need a lot of concrete. A lot of concrete. Just start stocking up. And it's not even just this, just this build. It's going to have to be the um, build over where the the garage is going to be. I'm going to officially call that the garage. Site B. <laughs> it's like in Jurassic Park, Site B.
I kind of wish this would auto filter too, so. I think there's ways of creating an auto filter for this, but in the end, it just ends up clogging your entire machine. Anyway. Make more concrete. I guess we need a ton of it. Hopefully, no more connect tools like I did yesterday. That was dumb. <laughs> that was mega dumb of me to do that. <laughs> it happens. Not perfect. Nothing is. Time to think of it. I think we're going to need concrete for a lot of things anyway. I wanted to make use more light blocks. Oh, that just takes metal. That's even worse. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, trying to get metal or uh, or other things. The two worst things to get in this game is metal and glue. How I hate getting glue. Wish we can automate that. Please let me automate glue one day. That's all I ask. Gained another follower today, so that's... That's nice. That's a kind of a bonus. I'm always happy to get... If I just get one, like a month or whatever, I'd probably be satisfied with that. I'm not getting any for like a year or something. I would just be like, why am I doing this? <laughs> I don't even have to make dinner tonight, so. I think I'm going to watch Hunter x Hunter tonight. Old guy watching anime. Watching anime. Especially when the when the story is a little bit more intriguing. I heard Hunter x Hunter is really good, so. And I'm one of those guy uh, old guys that's like talks about anime from like way back in his day when he was growing up. I think like the earliest anime I remember watching when I was a kid. It was like not the original 60s version of Astro Boy, but the one that they made in the 80s. I remember watching. And I always remember that one being, like, really fun to watch. Definitely I saw some of the old Speed Racers. I saw. Those weren't too bad. I don't like those. Shut up, beeper. <laughs> Nobody likes you. What else am I gonna do? Okay, let's let's work on some lighting in the basement. Like this is okay. Right here. I feel like it's kind of spread out a bit, but right here it's kind of dark. Or not. I still haven't really. 100% um, loving this setup here. We kind of got all this concrete going. And I kind of want to make an auto planter 
so I don't have to do this. And an auto picker. I feel like the auto planter and the auto picker can be one and the same. The only thing is, is that I'm going to have to manually change from picking up to dropping. And it would be like roughly the same system as this, except with uh, picking. And I left enough room that I can probably build it here. And enough left enough room in the back. Put it here. Like you notice that I have a, I put a, some room in between here. And I think I'm going to have to do the same here as put it on the other side and have it on the opposite end. Going the opposite way. So, and I kind of like using these beams, so I'm probably going to make a bunch of those beams. And this is going to be one of those, going to need more metal kind of things. Um, but I'll never have to like step foot in here again. I might actually even change this to concrete th uh, three or whatever. Just so I don't have the bots coming in here ruining my stuff. And I might move this thing too because I don't really like the location of it either. It does keep myself nice and safe though, but I would rather... Once I get this trap, I have to think about what is going to be more important important building this trap I think building this trap is probably more important for the other side then it's another defense this side I don't care about as much because I don't get really that much uh, attacks from that side right I don't get attacked much from this side, and I, I do not get attacked much from that side. It's only this side and this side, and occasionally I might get a tape bot there if it's a high grade uh, uh, raid or whatever. Well. <laughs> I think I'm pretty well protected in here, too. In there. From worst comes to worst, they ever break that and knock me out of my seat. It's not a big deal. Because, you know, just snipe them from a distance or whatever. Yeah, I feel like this could probably be taken apart. Yeah. I'm thinking let's Start uh, working on dismantling that trap. Yeah, crap, damn it. Why did you stop? This thing never got it started. I would not be surprised me doing. <laughs> I've done that before. Or it started something and forgot about it. UT. Easy boop. Okay, what do we got?
Okay. we need we're gonna need chest pretty empty we'll pick that one there is a lot of stuff in here start dismantling that trap start making that trap or at least getting the area ready for it. I think at least getting the area ready for it is pretty prioritizing. Hmm. I'll probably get a full chest out of this. I'm gonna need those. This can go in here. Take that. Take her downstairs. Don't need to make burgers, so that's good. This. Here and here. Yeah, and I think we're going to be using far less materials in our second go around on this because, like, this actually surprisingly used up a lot of things. And I think we can use probably yet less materials and reuse a lot of materials because we've got a lot of sensors here. I'll probably only have to use maybe about, oh, I'm guessing maybe about three or four sensors there. Not even like fully upgraded ones like we are right now. Yeah, look at all these sensors. That was just from one portion of the trap. That was the bottom portion of the trap, and I still have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm not even going to use even remotely all those. That's good. Here. Hmm. Good. Good. Okay. 
concrete. Fix that on the bottom. Hmm. In there. I don't even think we're gonna use remotely a lot of these. That's good. Just have a feeling this is this design is gonna be way better. Now, the only problem is, well, actually, it probably won't be a problem because I'm going to have the Gatling gun in the way. Um, it definitely will not take care of uh, the red guys. Definitely will not take care of the red guys. Keep that in mind, I think. Myself, this is not red dry free. free. <laughs> See the line. Okay. That's roughly about how big the hole is going to be. That's like really not that much distance I have to cover either. Concentrating. <laughs> Always about the concentration. I have space already. Close. <laughs> ah, now I'm out of space. Great. <laughs> Good thing I don't have any raids to deal with right now. Be empty. I may actually make this pusher maybe wider if I can. Possibility. Up here. Nope. Give me that. Yeah. Definitely I will get to use less bearings, that's for sure. Sliding mechanics might be a different story.
this. I think we'll keep that there for now because we might actually use that, utilize that. So that's a possibility. Oh, bite head. Ah. <laughs> Tory fall, of course. Of course. You don't have inventory full at least three or four times. Why 256? I never understood that. Why can't they just make this a thousand? Or 999? Why 256? And some other things, it's like, why 10? <laughs> And I can understand because it's a nice round number, but 256? Maybe that's just nerdy uh, computer jokes or something. I remember having a 256 growing up. Computer. And it might have been the computer that they grew up with as a 256. That is a possibility. Inside nerd jokes. There. Empty containers in here I can dump stuff in. Way too much stuff. No, I'm gonna have to go get more water in. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Just stopped. That means I have to fill it up again. What do I got? Oh, we got a, quite a bit there. That's kind of bad. Way a good chunk of our uh, our uh, scrap, whatever <laughs> garbage. Always kind of a nuisance.
I think you gotta get rid of that scrap rock. <laughs> Always turn it into concrete. Better than scrap scrap rock. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, this side is gonna be a little bit different than this side. Because I have to have it stick out more so I can get to this area. And I never made a second level to here. And I still don't think I want to. I kind of like this um, this design, I guess. Okay, so. I think. Thing with us right here. Have it start there, I guess. Again. This is it. Okay, good. So, question is okay, so we're going to build this trap slightly different than this one. Where we have the trap kind of slanting down and this way, so it all like flex into one spot. I think that'll be enough room for uh, to pick up the arms and stuff. This time, I think we'll have it maybe slanting in this way, so they'll pick be picked up here instead, right? So that way. So let's just get a bunch of bricks. Use up our bricks. And then we have to think about how wide we're That's the other thing we have to think about as well, is how wide should we make this? Yeah, Cause I'm thinking about probably about that much. I think that would be the perfect amount. And then have this though. I think has to be out there. So about this big of a hole that we're going to be bringing in. How'd that come out that way? Actually, we should make it a little bit. I'm thinking a little bit deeper than that. I'm thinking that would probably be more perf precise. Because then it's gonna, we're gonna have enough lean on that to do what we got to do here. I think we don't have to make this. there and we're still going to have to have the uh, the vacuum pumps in here and this one might have to be enclosed like so on the side and as well as this like we're not going to use We're not going to use this to like help us with the uh, the boss that come in. They're just going to straight up just drop right in there. So 
So yeah, I think that's the design we're going to use. Where it's just going to... Bickety-bam right in there. Planted. I have a couple of uh, vacuum pumps like we do with this one. I don't know if we're going to have to use that many. I think we could probably get away with three. I'm guessing. And then the hopper right there. I think this will probably be a like I can almost get away with this one being a little bit taller or shorter. This uh, the collection of these will have to be. I have to figure out a better way of doing that. But this also was a giant uh, improv when I was making it to begin with. So. I can't that uncovered. Too bad, so sad. All right, so same amount, and definitely we're going to use like less sensors and pistons for this thing. Guessing that's probably right there. Have to do the count. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. The line is on five. So one, two, three, four. The line's right about there. So that's how big the other hole. So I just wanted to just make it equal as uh, as possible. how many uh, I need for the here two three four five eight two three four five six seven so that big Nope. Now, did I get the width right? <laughs> the other one. Uh, one, two. And one, two, and go. I think we just have that right there. It's actually more like eleven. I need enough room to attach the uh, slant on that to make it roll down. Yeah, I definitely get to use less uh, less sensors. Yeah, because yeah, 
you're gonna have bots coming in this way come in push this way and then down you go and one thing I do notice when I'm, when I'm playing and then I get a lot actually that spawn worried about I'm guessing right about here either they go this way if they see the player they go this way but a lot of them do spawn more already directly at it and come charging this way that's why i always get a lot of at the door here this is a different story we have to figure out what we could do for the door the thought so I think I accomplished quite a bit enough today so definitely we just tested the trap we had some new ideas to move stuff around uh, a few different areas I think that's uh, I accomplished what I wanted to do today Don't feel like I need to do any more. Ooh, second. <laughs> Why do I have a giant hole here? Do I have any concrete on me? Huh, that's weird. I have a feeling that hole's been there for a bit. And I just never noticed it over here. Boom. <laughs> now it's fixed. Yeah, and definitely we'll probably work on going here and whatever. For sure. And then I think next time I have a lot of ideas right now but definitely we're gonna have an auto collection system maybe not an auto farm right but we can set it up um, eventually to be an auto farm so we are we might have even a few pistons after this project's done or something I got three here, and I think here's another three. One of the chests up there. And we can re reutilize, use, reuse those, because I'm going to need at least, let's see how many I got here? One, two, just two. So we're going to need eight to have enough to go across, and then we're going to have to make these, and then. Basically, we're going to duplicate this, except we're going to have um, having it suck up, and we're going to have to adjust how slow it goes. That's the other thing. If you have that thing go too fast, right, it actually does not suck up all the uh, stuff, right? Or... I don't know if we could put it on a sensor where it just like every time it hits a sensor it sucks right so just the thought gotta think about these kind of think about it a little bit i think anyway i think that's it and i'll see you when i see ya uh have a good one i'm out